Good evening, sports fans. Tomorrow night, one of the oldest rivalries around will be played out at Memorial Stadium as Benedictine and Savannah High meet up. Now, back in the day, this was the can't-miss sporting event here in the Coastal Empire, as you're about to find out. Larry Thompson, Stan Friedman, and Egan Shepard, three men connected forever by a single play in a high school football game. I think I caught a pass against... Uh, there you go. What's his name? Rose? George Rose. George Rose. Rose yeah. See if it says it on there. It was Thanksgiving Day 1959. Savannah High and Benedictine were squaring off in a contest simply known as the rivalry. We considered it like the Georgia-Florida game. It, it was that big rivalry between Savannah High and B.C. The play that lives on over at B.C., a fake field goal. Thompson, who was holding, stands up and throws to Shepard for the score. The ensuing extra point by Freeman would be the difference in a 7-6 win by the Cadets. This Thanksgiving will mark the 50th anniversary of that game, the last time Savannah and B.C. met at Grayson Stadium on Thanksgiving Day. You were wide open, and uh, they had expected a field goal. Because Larry put it right on the money, and you uh, caught it, and it was pretty simple. But, but I do recall a linebacker saying, watch for a pass on Savannah High's side. I didn't hear that one, but I'm glad I did. BC and the High continue to meet each year. However, the rivalry not as big as it once was. The two schools began playing one another way back in 1903. But the heyday of the series was from 1920 through 1959, where a contest between the schools was more important than the turkey on Thanksgiving Day. When I was a little boy, I remember coming out here with my family on Thanksgiving Day and dreaming about playing in this game. And it was just so exciting the first year I played in it, and thankfully I was able to play for four years. The Thanksgiving showdown ended in 1960 because of a Georgia high school ruling. However, the magic of the Thanksgiving Day pageantry lives on through the stories and in the pages of Savannah's Thanksgiving Day football classic written by former cadet Maurice Shepard. Well, I am just very grateful that I was able to do this because it has preserved so many memories to so many people. So, yeah, I am indeed proud of this. And I've put uh, copies into the archives so that make sure for generations to come people know about this great tradition that we had. I have received uh, orders from people from 12 different states, from California, New Mexico, Pennsylvania, Maryland, and all these people are people that lived in Savannah and want to relive these wonderful memories. Friday night, Savannah and Benedictine will meet at Memorial Stadium, and it's safe to say you won't be seeing 15,000 fans packing the stands. But there at halftime, on the 50-yard line, will be some of the members of the 1959 Benedictine football team being honored and keeping the stories of games gone by alive. There's no rivalry nowadays like this. I don't think there's any rivalries in the state like this. And it was, uh, it was part of the fabric of our lives. Now, if you're interested in getting a copy of that book, Savannah's Thanksgiving Day Football Classic, you can get in touch with the author. You just saw Maurice Shepard, maurice.shepard at hotmail.com, or there's his address, or, as always, you can check on our website, thecoastalsource.com. Also, if you are a member of the 1959 Benedictine football team, you're asked to come out to Memorial Stadium tomorrow night. You're going to be honored at halftime in that Savannah, B.C. game. We'll